افواج پاکستان اور عوام ایک تھے ایک ہیں اور ایک رہیں گے This great country is gifted with countless blessings stretching from the Himalayas to the coastal belt, from rocky mountains on the west to the green pastures, alluvial plains and the expansive deserts in the east, which are all rich with natural endowments and great opportunities. We have a vibrant nation of over 240 million people with bulk comprising of aspiring and hard-working youth. All we need is to follow the principles of faith, unity, and discipline. Faith in Allah and our abilities to rise against all odds while never giving in to distractions. Unity in our efforts and the desire to discipline of channelizing our energies towards the right direction of peace prosperity and development. Dear cadets, ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to reject despondency, propaganda of the naysayers and fear mongers who are wagging a failed attempt to foment despair and hopelessness. This great country and the nation has withstood many such challenges during its creation and thereafter. No country or nation on earth has ever met success without such challenges coming their way. And for us, what lies at the end of the tunnel, Allah has promised in Surah Ala Imran, Wala tahinu, wala tahzanu, wa antumula in kuntum mu'mineen. Fear not, worry not, you will be dominant indeed if you are believers. For those who start making hue and cry on some difficulty encountered, for them in Surah An Kabut, Allah says, and the translation is, do the people think that they will be left merely on saying we believe and they will not be tested? And in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, Am hasibtum an tadkhulul jannata and the translation is they encountered sufferings and adversities and were so shaken in spirit that even the messenger, peace be upon him, and those of faith who were with him cried, when, when will come the help of Allah? Verily, the help of Allah is always near. Ladies and gentlemen, to my Kashmiri brethren, I would say that inshallah, you will also get free from the clutches of the brutal occupation forces as we got our freedom 76 years ago through your rightful cause of self-determination and indigenous freedom struggle. No evil design can withstand the determination of the Kashmiri people. Despite the communication blackouts, blatant use of the bayonets, and turning illegally Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir into the largest prison of the world. It is for the conscience of the international community to realize that Indian excesses in Kashmir have gone unaddressed and right to freedom and self-determination is being denied at the altar of geopolitical necessity. To all Kashmiris, I reiterate the assurance and full backing of your brothers in arms 
and the complete Pakistani nation. To our brothers of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Balochistan, who are resiliently fighting against the savages of terrorism and proxies for over two decades, we want to reassure that we will, inshallah, succeed against this menace being waged against us. We want you to live in peace and progress in line with the aspirations of the people. To our neighbor who has never been able to reconcile with the idea of Pakistan and is a threat to the regional peace and stability, I must say that we gained freedom after a great struggle and we know how to defend it. The strategic calculus of our arch rifle, skewed by its outsized ambition, carrying an illusion of being a great power and blinded by Hindutva-driven hyper-nationalism, needs serious attention of the world. We will never be coerced by any aggressive designs, and neither can the region afford such hostility between two nuclear powers. Unfortunately, the adversary continues to peddle its nefarious designs against us for petty political mileage. I would humbly remind them of their predicament. Last time, they tried to do so. With respect to our Afghan brothers, we have been the most hospitable nation and wish that they reciprocate to our earnest efforts to the least and not allow their soil to be used against us. We are making great strides of partnership and cooperation with our time-tested friend China, and we have reinvigorated our new spirit in our historic relations with Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Republic of Turkey, State of Qatar, and Islamic Republic of Iran. Pakistan is determined to rise amongst the comity of nations, and we wish to deepen our relationship with all our friends and partners. We have a very bright future that lay ahead of us, provided we remain united, steadfast, and undeterred. Dear cadets, I commend you all on this immaculate display of drill on the Independence Day. You have chosen a noble profession and trusted with the sacred duty of defending Pakistan against its enemies within and without, visible and invisible. Always be ready for any sacrifice to uphold the honor and dignity of this country. My message of hope is for the people of all ages, gender, creed, or caste. We are Pakistanis first and foremost, and we are all proud of our country and this great nation. We must stand united and rise above self to serve Pakistan in whatever ways it demands of us. Always remember, Pakistan is our identity and the rationale to exist. Pakistan hai, to hum hai. Pakistan nahi, to kuch bhi nahi. Fard qaim, rabte millet se hai, tanha kuch nahi. فرد قائم ربط ملت سے ہے تنہا کچھ نہیں موج ہے دریا میں اور بیرون دریا کچھ نہیں I thank you all Pakistan Army Zindabad Pakistan Find the Bar